Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, this morning, this is a different kind of short message for someone. Um, this morning, they were, I was getting loads of downloads about water, um, all kinds of water. And so I pulled out my Healing Waters deck and laid all the cards out and they had me pick out these cards and then they had they told me which order to put them in so this is not going to resonate for everybody um this is only going to resonate probably for a select few of you that um have new psychic abilities coming in i'm feeling like or um they're giving you giving some kind of a message about telling people with new abilities um to make sure that you get plenty of rest and make sure you get lots and lots and lots of water because water carries messages, okay? Which is why they gave me the, the water carrier first, okay? And this is talking about what really matters, reflect, report, re, um, reprioritize. But what they're talking about here is somebody with psychic abilities that um, needs to do a little more self-care because they're trying to get messages to you and you're not getting some of the things that you need. We're out in the meadow this morning, guys. I don't know if y'all can, um, actually, I'm going to share it with you. Um, and we have lots of bugs. <laughs> so if you hear me cussing at the bugs, I apologize, but they're kind of, um, and we got dragonflies too, loads of dragonflies out there and you can't see them, but they're out there floating around. Um, okay. So let me get back to this. So again, this feels like an hourglass and, and time is shifting and changing for you. Okay, so they're talking about having um, messages come in and they're saying, make sure you drink lots of water. This could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, someone with a wa of water signs, but not necessarily so. This could be you, someone you know, someone in your family that you're seeing things start to happen with them. Okay, or you might intuitively see someone in your family or yourself or someone else and go oh i know this is me okay so then we have what's going to happen in the ripple effect because this card was from the ripple effect right the, the cosmic ocean current dreams future realities new beginnings but i feel like it should say current dreams new beginnings future realities in this so this feels like someone that's coming in with that's um getting messages from different realms Take that how it resonates, guys. That, that's what they're telling me, okay? So this is purely a channeled me message coming from the angels, the guides, the divine council. Um, I probably should have called it a divine council, but they said, no, this is the water carrier, someone that carries water. So take that how it resonates. Maybe you live by a lot of water. Maybe you always have to be by the water. Something about carrying knowledge um, um, in the waters of your family line, your... your um, your lineage. So take that how it resonates. Maybe your family comes from, um, um, back in the day came from Greece where, you know, Greece is an island surrounded by water, right? Um, so is, um, so is, um, Ireland and quite a few other places. The Baltic Sea is on the other side, maybe Hawaii, one of those places where there's a surrounded at least by three sides by water is what I'm hearing. Okay. So then we have, because of that, the water, uh, Oracle psychic abilities acting on visions, it's destined. So someone that whose family comes from close by where there's lots and lots of water, it's got some kind of new gifts coming in where, um, it's like you've been training for this for lifetimes, but you just don't know it. Okay. So this is kind of like a confirmation message for someone that, uh, maybe in meditation, you're seeing water, you're, um, hearing, maybe you're sometimes hearing water splash. Um, every time you're near water, it, it feels like it speaks to you is what I'm hearing. Okay. And then we have clear waters, um, clear vision, confirmation, right timing, opportunity. So again, this is someone that's getting some kind of water messages. Guys, take it how it resonates. All I can do is give y'all the message. Okay. And you take it how it resonates with you. Okay. Then we have water codes, ancient wisdom. The intelligence is within you. So again, I feel like this is somebody that's just needing confirmation that yes their psychic abilities are coming in or have been coming in and it has a lot to do with water maybe you go and research your family and find out that um, um, back in the day your family's from Greece and you didn't know it or um, something like that where some little Pacific island or um, it could be anywhere in the world but it just feels like someone you know it could even be alaska it could be canada um puerto rico the virgin islands i got my map out here guys but they're saying somewhere where your family originated to do with water and you carry those water codes within you and it's something to do with your psychic abilities and being able to foretell the future 
the present going into the future. Not too much about the past, they're saying. Okay, so guys, take it how it resonates. Maybe some of you, you do, you do, maybe you, because my readings, I always try to focus on the future. Anyone can tell you about your past or give you a confirmation reading, right? I try to focus on the what's coming in the near future so that we're more prepared, right? Because it feels like right now, Pluto being in Aquarius, just a lot of things are coming to light. And then, you know, in August, things kind of mellow out. And then they, we go back into Capricorn and we come back in. And it feels like when Pluto comes back in again, there's going to be like a waterfall where a lot of more stuff comes in, um, where a lot of um, information comes in that for the rest of the year and going into 2025, a lot of people are going to be getting a huge spiritual awakening of a different kind, I'm feeling. Guys, take that how it resonates. I can just tell you what they're telling me, okay? So, um... Um, I'm also noticing on my map here, Michigan um, has lots of bodies, bodies of water. Um, um, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Delaware, New Jersey, all the corners of the state, Florida, um, Louisiana, um, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Oregon, Washington are all surrounded by water on at least one side. So, and, and guys, I'm just focusing on the United States right now at a later date, oh, Hawaii too, and Alaska. And sometime in the future, I'm going to focus on other places, but right now I'm trying to still figure out what they're telling me about these maps that they got me doing. So, but I'm just pointing it out to you, okay? So, inner power, unbridled confidence, claiming your place. So this is, again, feels like confirmation to somebody that water has a great huge thing to do with you how you pick up the energies maybe you always need to be near water for your psychic abilities to feel extra sharp doesn't mean you can't go in the middle of the united states and your 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 intuition works because it's always going to work but when you're near water you pick up extra maybe you pick up messages from the water and the sea rivers um the rain yes yeah, the rain, maybe lightning storms I'm hearing. Um, take it how it resonates, guys. Um, it just feels like it has a lot to do with water, okay? Um, maybe this is confirmation for someone that going into the near future, every time you hear a thunderstorm, rainstorm, you're going to hear it differently. Like I've been talking here lately, which I, I told I, I I, I spoke a, a little bit about uh, to someone about seeing the sun come out. I, I, like, I feel like I'm seeing things differently where the sun, because I'm an earth sign and um, um, a fire sign, right? So the sun is fire to me. Um, so I keep seeing it over here where we, where we live, where I've been staying recently. In the morning over here, the sun comes in over these trees right here. And then it, it goes up this, see how it's going up this way through the trees? It feels like it's coming in, bouncing off the earth and going out that way. Like it's reflecting or deflecting. Take the help, you know, and I was saying maybe it's just a change of seasons, but it feels like I am seeing um, the light in a different way than I never have before. Does that make sense? Maybe it's just a change of seasons, but it feels different to me. So take that how it resonates. Maybe the water is, this is what the water carrier message is for someone, okay? And I still, I'm feeling a real strong Pisces here, or someone with a lot of Pisces in their chart. Or maybe you're an earth sign with a lot of water in your chart, and you just haven't looked at your chart. Guys, all you need to do is go to astro.com. That's where I did mine, and give them your place of birth, your time of birth. Um, and if you don't have it, um, um, ask someone in your family, or maybe someone told you you were born early morning, and they give you two-hour uh, time frames um, that you can pick from. Um, there's a system you can use. I can't remember what the name of it is. But anyway, um, you need your time of birth, okay, or about, uh, you know, so you can have a chart in them. I would suggest doing that because somebody with a lot of water in their chart is getting water messages. You're the water carrier, and that's what I'm going to name this reading. So, guys, that's what, um, this is just a little quickie this morning. I'm getting ready to um, pull um, in the hands of fate and do a, do a, um, state reading and see what we get yeah uh, the first time i did one we got we got um um i got louisville kentucky and I actually had a couple of people talk to me about that um who are actually getting ready to go there people it feels like people are traveling a lot maybe some of you some of you water carriers or someone that this message is for is going to water okay or maybe you're going across country to go to a, to move and you're going to another place that has even more water if that's the case you're going to pick up more messages they're saying okay um Someone, they're saying someone feels the need to be near more water. I'm hearing a waterfall, an actual waterfall. Um, maybe some someone's going to go on a, a trip into, um, to because it's summertime and a lot of people go on the movie, go on vacation, right? School lets out, everyone packs up the kids, the husband, the dog, the cat, they go traveling. Maybe you're going to travel somewhere where all of a sudden you have a big breakthrough. I'm hearing, um, I'm not even pulling rooms for this, guys, but I'm getting a little bit intuitive hits messages okay so this is what i have for someone who's a water carrier take that how it how it how it comes into play for you um 
And um, I think someone's going to get some really, either this is going to confirm something for someone or someone's going to go somewhere and all of a sudden you're going to remember this and you're going to go, oh, wow, I just got a huge breakthrough. And yes, or you're going to get some kind of a message about water. Okay, I just heard to saw me in my head. I don't know why. I don't think, I don't, I don't know what time of the year they have bad weather storms. I know in Mississippi, uh, come late August, that's when hurricane season opens up and there's, and look, South Mississippi gets drenched with storms, lots of rain. So maybe you're going to go somewhere there's a lot of rain and you're going to pick up messages from that. Okay. Take this how it resonates, guys. All right. That's what I have for um, a mini message this morning. Guys, be a light in the darkness. We're all meant to shine. We all have a reason and a purpose. Lighthouse.